What's up, fam? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do a love reading, actually. <laughs> it's a general love reading. You guys have been asking for a, a love reading, and I have never done one. So um, I'm going to try this out. We're going to see how it goes. Um, you know, I may or may not post this. <laughs> but yeah, um, you guys have been asking for a love reading. So I'm going to try this out. I have a few different decks I'm going to use um, just to see what's going on. What's going on in love? For the collective what's coming up in love for the collective um i'm gonna pull from uh the awakened tarot then i got beach time soul i got the love and romance i got cosmic insights we're just gonna see what's you know what comes out for us uh holy spirit we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us we ask that you give us insight and guidance from our current situations we ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us and we thank you for your blessing your wisdom your power and your work in our lives thank you spirit so um yeah i have pre shuffle let's get into it and see what we got going on in love knight of wands and that flipped out with Seven of Cups reverse. The High Priestess reverse. Six of Swords reverse. Let me do one more. Oh, let me head. Of course, we get two more. Strength and uh, Moon reverse. <laughs> um, I feel caught up with that bag. Okay, so we have Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups reverse the high priestess reverse six of swords reverse and strength so i don't know i feel like there's somebody that's like you know in passionate pursuit of something you know or someone seven of cups reverse you know maybe they're out of options or maybe they have snapped out of some type of confusion um if this is like your person I feel like they might be dealing with like a high priestess reverse or there's some there's a high priestess reverse involved in this situation somehow. It could be a man or a woman, but it's like a dark spiritualist. Um, whatever that situation is, it has somebody stuck. You know, they're unable to move forward. Uh, we did have strength come out. So, you know, maybe somebody's going to, you know, find some power, find some some courage. Uh, Knight of Wands. Let me uh. Let me see. I'm going to pull from uh, Beach Time Soul. Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands? Hand of Cards. And the Runner. Take a chance risk. Being strategic. Options. Not showing hand. Gambling. The Runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. So, yeah. Knight of Wands is the player card. So, somebody's dealing with a player. You know, this person's taking a chance risk. They're being strategic. They could have options. They're not showing their hand. They're gambling. Uh, this could be a runner in a codependent relationship. They have a fear of intimacy. So this could very well be somebody that's pursuing you, but this is like giving me past person energy. Um, seven of Cups reverse. So seven of Cups reverse. Mirror. Reverse. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. Girl talk, reverse. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So, one of these cards said options, but I don't know, the Seven of Cups reverse could be like no options. Somebody's not going inward. They could have a, a, a bad self-image. They might feel bad, have low self-esteem. Uh, this person has wounds they haven't healed from. Uh, this is somebody that's not having fun. You know, they might not be spending time with friends. They might not be having fun. They're uh, unhappily single. This is somebody that uh, might not be moving on. You know, maybe they're stuck or refusing to move on. High Priestess Reverse. Lightning Reverse. Sudden change. I'm not going to take these reverse because I feel like, oh, I don't know. Like It came out reverse. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. It came out reverse. The golden mirror, reverse. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So both of those came out reverse. But I almost feel like they should be in the upright. You know, somebody could be self-absorbed, a narcissist. This could be a one-sided relationship with somebody that love bombs. 
Somebody could be having a surprise, an epiphany, receiving some shocking, shocking news of some sort. Uh, Six of Swords reverse. Palm tree reverse, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Somebody's stuck. Whatever situation they're stuck in, there's no stability, there's no growth, there's no permanence, you know, like this, there's no staying, like there's really no, no like inner, no, no power to stay, no energy to stay. Endurance reverse, flexibility reverse. Love call. Y'all see how that one to flip around and came out on the fence. Uh, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Somebody wants to call. They're stuck in something that's just not working and they want to call. Like they want to, you know, contact you, express some type of love or something, but they just, maybe they're like decided or undecided. This came out on the fence. Uh, strength in the upright. Dates. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, planning or setting a date. Clock reverse. Need time. Takes time. In time cycles. Time to heal. Progress. This came out reverse. You know, this strength energy could be your energy as well. You know, uh, righteous, you know, carrying integrity. Uh, possessing courage, you know. Somebody loyal. Uh, you might have a date coming up. You could possibly have a date coming up. You or you're meeting someone. You could meet someone new. You might be meeting someone new, getting into dating, getting back out there, planning or setting a date. Um, need time takes time. Like no, you don't need any more time. Maybe you've done your healing. Like you're good now. You've done your healing, and you're uh, about to meet somebody new. Like in real time. Like yeah. Like you're ready. That's the energy I get. Like you're ready to get back out there. Um, I'm going to pull from what is this? Romance Angel. When Biden oh, became president, you probably started that. spending more money. The increase in spending has put millions of Americans behind on... Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, with this player energy over here that has a hand of cards, they're being strategic, this runner. What's going on with this runner? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is a uh, passion. It came out reverse. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. It came out reverse. You might not have passion for this person, this runner that likes to keep their options open. You're being like advised to keep an open mind. I mean, that could be with this person or anybody else. Uh, <laughs> Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Somebody needs to work on themselves. You know, uh, I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is, you know, whoever this is, you know, probably the same person that's, you know, uh, has relationship wounds and a, a, a tainted self-image. Somebody needs to love on themselves. Um... Could be somebody lacking passion. Maybe they don't have passion at all. It's the Knight of Wands in the upright, though. So I get like, I don't know. You might not have passion for this person, this runner. Uh, Seven of Cups reverse. Worth waiting for a reverse. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Religious factors. Retreat. Uh, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Now, what I kind of get and what I almost heard is like, you know, it's time to disconnect from maybe this connection. If you're in a connection with somebody and it's not working out or you've been trying to, you know, get a get a uh, connection back on track. You know, it's not going to be for everybody. Take what resonates. You know, uh, worth waiting for came out reverse. So this might not be something, you know, this person needs to heal. Whoever this is, they need to, they need to do some deep healing. So this might not be worth waiting for. There could be religious factors, you know. Um, you could be of the dark or the, you could be of the light. I'm sorry. <laughs> or the dark. I don't know. You know, and this person could be, you know, the other one, you know, on the other side, maybe. Um, it's time to disconnect from the world. That could be like with a person or that could be like on your own. 
Yeah, I just get like, if somebody needs to heal. They got a lot going on. Uh, High Priestess Reverse, Lightning, Golden Mirror. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Let your friends help you. Ask for, ask for and accept support from others. This is all falling under this uh, High Priestess Reverse. So there's like some shocking news. There could be like a tower moment of some sort. Um, or maybe somebody's gonna come in love bombing, you know, self-absorbed. This could be a narcissist energy. Um, you attract romantic love by uh, enjoying this moment fully. That's what I feel like a karmic energy. I don't know why this person, they insist on being, you know, in a, a love reading. They insist on coming out. Like in the, it always never fails. Um, this person needs to like let a situation unfold naturally. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept friends from uh, or help from others. I think you know a lot. Of, <laughs> a lot of these karmic energies have been doing exactly that. Like you know they can round up the whole coven. You know uh, I don't know. Let's yeah moving on. <laughs> Six of Swords reversed, you know, somebody's stuck in something. They're stuck in a situation that's unstable. There's no growth, no flexibility, no security. Um, this person, like, you know, this came out on the fence. They could be contemplating, making a love call, sending a love message. Uh, what's going on here? Stay on, stay on, stay on. Flipped out reverse. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visual visualizations <laughs> help bring you together. So this person's trying to call you in. But I feel like they're undecided on if they actually want to make the call, like a physical call. <laughs> Goodness. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So somebody could have a child. Maybe that's why they're stuck in a situation due to kids, children. Okay, we had two. Uh, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And uh, trust. The situation is calling you to have faith. So I what I get somebody stuck in a situation. These could all be like different in like I say, take what resonates, you know. These could all be different situations. Um somebody's stuck in a situation that they know is like not growing. There's no security, no stability. Uh they, they're contemplating reaching out. You know, this person may want to reach out. They may be being guided to reach out, but they haven't yet is what I get. Uh, this person, either you're calling them in or they're calling you in, but they're in a situation in which, like, children are. They could be in a situation where they have kids, you know, with somebody else, and that's keeping them kind of, like, stuck in that situation, maybe. I feel like this is definitely, like, a situation in which, you know, somebody's going to have to make some effort, put in some real effort here. You know, uh, do what they're guided to do. Uh, the situation is calling you to have faith. So have faith, you know, uh, trust the process, have faith that, you know, um, what is yours, what is truly yours, it will be yours. Um, over here, like I said, this is like totally different situations for everybody. I feel, I feel like this is like five different people, maybe. Uh, over here, you got somebody that's like, you know, standing in their power. This is somebody righteous, uh, somebody with integrity. They possess loyalty. Um, this person is meeting somebody new. Could be dating, getting back out there, planning or setting a date. Uh, I feel like this person's done some healing and now is the time. Uh, strength, upright. Whoa, it just jumped out of there. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And we also have unrequited love that came out reverse. It came out like it was turned around. Unrequited love reverse. Uh, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, yo, whoever this is, I just, I, I, I naturally felt good before we even, as soon as strength came out, I felt good about this pile. If this is your line, you know, like I said, you're somebody standing in your power, uh, somebody with good qualities. You're meeting somebody new. You're going to meet somebody new. You have met somebody new. You could be dating, getting back out there. You're doing this now. You've done your healing. 
Um, I feel like whoever's coming in for you, this person's going to have like a really playful energy. Spirit of fun. Somebody you have fun with. You enjoy yourself with. Uh, unrequited love. Like this is going to be a mutual type of thing. There's not enough. There's going to be enough, more than enough attraction and chemistry to keep this going. Um, let me pull a few more from the tarot. Or I, I haven't done Cosmic Insights. We'll do co Cosmic Insights. Um, this uh, Knight of Wands over here, this player. What's going on with them? Spy. Someone's got their eye on you. You are. Uh, they're doing their research. Yeah, this is your past person. Somebody could be spying this runner. Like, why run away and then look? Oh, looking ass. Like, didn't you? <laughs> what was this card? Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. This person could be trying to manifest you. They're spying, trying to manifest you. I'm trying to manifest you contacting me. You come towards me, even though I ran away. Like, what the hell? Cycles reversed. Fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. This person's stuck in a karmic cycle. They're spying, they're trying to manifest you, but they're stuck in, this could be their energy as well. <laughs> you know, they're stuck in some other shit. <laughs> Maybe because of kids. Um, seven of Cups reverse. This is somebody who's like, nah, maybe they're out of options. Maybe they're not seeing something clearly, but this is somebody, this is the healing, the unhealed file. So somebody needs to heal. You know, they need to go inward. They need to do their introspection. They need to heal whatever wounds they might have. Um, what else is this line? They'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, expect to hear from them soon. Like I said, somebody was contemplating. They were contemplating, you know, uh, or they are contemplating, you know, making this call, reaching out, you know, expressing something to you. Could be dealing with a water sign or you could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Gambling. Problems with addiction or gambling, bad finances. This person could be having some, you know, some issues with money right now as well. Uh, high priestess reverse. I don't even. I almost don't even want to do this. If this is a karmic. I almost don't. Want to, do we care? Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, patience. Just a few more months. Good things to come to those who wait. Mercury retrograde. Electronic issues. Communication issues. Review everything. This person is being called to. They're receiving a tower moment, and they're being called to be patient. Um, or if this is you, you know. It's the high priestess reversed, though. Um, you know, you're being called to be patient. They'll be back, whoever this is. Uh, earth sign, you could be an earth sign. They could be an earth sign. This karmic energy could be an earth, earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, Six of Swords reverse. This is the, the stuck pile. They're stuck somewhere, maybe due to children. This person uh, needs to have faith and make the effort. Uh, Six of Swords. Caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Narcissist. Oh, someone is too full of themselves. Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. Yeah. So this pile, this could all be, the, I don't know. Like I said, these could be different people. Four different people. This could all be one big story. And you got like, you know, a masculine that's stuck, needs to heal. You got a karmic energy that's wet. You know, they're going through it because... They're not with somebody. And then you have this person who could be a nar narcissist, somebody who you, who you might be receiving red flags about. You need to watch this person, proceed with caution. Uh, yeah, this person could be too full of themselves. Like they just, you know, player energy. They like to keep their options open. Challenges, make a decision, work on inner healing. That's exactly, yeah, this person is facing challenges because they need to make a decision and work on inner healing. Uh, this is the good pile. I just kind of want to wipe all of that. Like, <laughs> you know, this is like more than likely collective energy. Strength in the upright. You know, you're meet, you're meeting somebody. You've done, you closed a cycle. You know, you've done some healing. Could be meeting somebody new. This is somebody, you know, that's going to be playful with you. It's going to be a mutual attraction, mutual love. Uh, what else we got? Love spell. You've been bewitched. What the hell? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Intimacy. Sexual chemistry reminiscing. What's going on, spirit? Sexuality and vacation. 
What is happening to the world? Okay. You will be traveling soon. Someone is still figuring themselves out. So I don't know if you're about to meet somebody, like it's gonna be playful, y'all go have a mutual attraction to each other. Somebody could be doing love magic. Maybe you did a love ritual or somebody bewitched you. Oh my goodness, don't tell me. <laughs> Pay attention to the red flag. Somebody might be coming in with this, you know, this hocus pocus, trying to get you caught up in a trick bag. Uh, intimacy, sexual chemistry, this could be somebody you, that's what I get. I almost get like firm with benefits, but I don't like that love spell. That love spell right there. I don't like that. Uh, that yeah. Um, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. This could be somebody you know you have fun time with, you know, intimacy with. This person could still be figuring themselves out. Maybe you're still figuring yourself out. Maybe what you want. Uh, you might be traveling soon. Could be traveling with somebody. Baby, let me pull. Yeah, what's going on, spirit? Uh, yeah, we just gonna focus on this one. What's going on here with this vacation, intimacy, love spell, person, the new person? This is somebody watching you. They're currently watching you from a distance. Ma the magician, they could be manifesting or watching you manifest the world reverse. So somebody's watching, they could be watching you manifest uh there this is a cycle that hasn't closed or is that somebody's in a cycle somebody's trying to manifest somebody's watching you and manifesting a cycle not closing two of swords reverse somebody made their mind up somebody's uh you know yeah somebody's made their mind up to walk away from something this could be you could be the person eight of wands communication quick communication eight eight cars just fell um yeah somebody's watching from the distance they're manifesting a cycle not closing or staying open this person has made a decision to walk away from an emotional investment maybe a relationship elsewhere uh and they're either you know coming in fast towards somebody or they're sending like some quick communication um let me pull a few from this other deck here see what we got real quick this whole deck of cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the deck I want to use just fell, like all jumbled up. Okay. All right, what's going on with this person watching, manifesting, um, making a decision to walk away? Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear and ego issues, jealousy. Yeah, this, this is giving me past person energy. You know, like that's definitely you up at the, you know, with the strength and, you know, uh, completing some healing, you know, uh, meeting new people, maybe putting yourself back out there. You could have a date. Somebody's watching you and they're trying to manifest, you know, maybe, you know, keeping a cycle with you open. Uh, but this person could be frustrated. They're leaving a situation that they're probably frustrated in. This person could have like, you know, a bruised ego after coming out of that. Hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. It came out reverse. So I don't know if this person's not working on whatever issues they have. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. Yeah, you damn sure right. This, per <laughs> this person watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. Goodness gracious. What else? What's going on? The dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, heal. It came out reverses as well. So maybe somebody's not lighthearted. Things haven't come to light yet. They refuse to change. They're not healing. Man. Photograph. Looking at your photos. Missing you. Nostalgia. Make new memories. This might be somebody you don't miss. You know? Um, 
I thought we had somebody new. There's not nobody new. Is there anything new coming in here? What's going on? Oh, no. We just, there is a past person for who? <laughs> There's a past person that's like deep, like heavy in the energy. Like this person is just not, they don't want to move around. They could be codependent. They could have obsessions. This person could be possessive. Um, they have some type of block or constraint currently. Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. I feel like this person don't want you. They have like, you know, some obsessions. They could have restraints or blocks. They don't want you meeting anybody new. Somebody that doesn't want you meeting anybody new. What's going on? Open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Air sign. You could be dealing with the air sign. You could be an air sign. My air sign might need to open up their heart. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, you know, take what applies. I don't know, you know, maybe this this past person really is your person and they're just, you know, tied to like a karmic situation. Um, if this is something you want, you know, for those of you who want this and you don't have to like beat me up in the comments, fam. I, I love you, okay? I'm on your side. <laughs> um, but you know, uh, if this is, some, for those of you that want, you know this is your person, you want them. I really feel like you just gotta give it time. This person's not on your level yet, you know? Uh, they're playing, well, they're either playing catch up or they need to. Um, they will have to. Let me pull a couple more from here. What's going on? Mm. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yeah, this person's having money issues. This is somebody, they got wrapped up with the wrong karmic. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This person could be having issues with their, their parents. Uh, their family, they could be having money issues, they got children, it's a mess. Yeah, collective, uh, live your life. <laughs> That's, you know, if I could add my two cents, I'm gonna say live your life. Um, if this is something you want, you know, live your life until it comes around. Anything that's truly yours will be yours when all in divine timing. But you know, live your life. Because whoever this is, they got a lot going on. And you know, it's not really, your energy is the only one that feels different. Your energy is literally the only one in this whole equation that feels different. Everything else is like one big ball of karmic poo-poo. You know, like, it's just a mess. Um, I'm going to pull an oracle from Journey of Love. Let's go to spirit. Let's go on. All right, we have heaven. I don't think I've, I don't know if I read that one before. Heaven. Heaven. Baby. All right, heaven. You are meant to live. You are meant to live heaven. You are meant to live heaven. Now, not later, sometime after you die. What use is this life and body if not to live heaven now? Look for the mad divine genius in all that is, especially the puzzling parts of your life that make you scratch your head or tear at your hair or scrunch up your face and scream with frustration. Those are the places in which the divine is saying, here, heaven is hiding. Let's unveil it together. Let me show you. Let me unveil your own mad divine genius right here. Look for heaven. Even in hiding, it will not withhold itself from you for long, beloved. It wants you to, it wants you to be, or sorry, it wants to be known by you. This oracle brings you a special message. The enlightener is calling you to more, to more, to more. More divinity more love, more acceptance, more embrace of life itself. There is no limit in what is being offered to you from the divine lover calling to you, the beloved. Rejoice and know that the dance of love between you and the divine is a removing of veils of illusion one at a time. Until you behold each other naked and true, finally, to discover you are each other, you are love. Let me read the last sentence one more time. Rejoice to know that the dance of love between you and the divine is a removing of veils of illusion one at a time until you hold 
until you behold each other, naked and true, finally to discover you are each other, you are love. This is kind of, that gave me that same kind of vibe, that same energy, you know, of uh, give it time. Yeah, we had that. Give it time, uh, they'll be back, uh, patience. Like there was a lot of different cards that were talking about all of that. Patience came out somewhere. Yeah, right there, patience. You know, give it time, patience. This was pretty much talking about, you know, uh, the same thing. I feel like this is this is a situation that definitely needs some time. Uh, because like I said, whoever this, if this is your person, they're in a mess. They're in a really, really big mess. They have made a decision to, you know, walk away from that. But I, this person needs, they need to do some healing. They're coming with a lot of baggage. This person is watching you though. Somebody that's like lurking. They're watching, they're keeping a close eye, you know, trying to make sure <laughs> the door stays open or at least cracked. Um, but yeah, I was hoping, I know a lot of you were hoping for like the new energy to pop out. Um, I mean, this is what came out. Maybe it's something somebody needs to see. I don't know. Um, I'm going to close this reading here. I just wanted to try this little love thing. I don't know if I'm going to post this or not. <laughs> we'll see. Um, if I do, thank you so much for joining me, fam. I love you guys to the moon and back. Um, as always, I'm Ke uh, Kev, Intuitive Kev. <laughs> And this has been a love reading for the collective. I'll see you.